Given the choice, everyone I know would rather win than lose. The first step begins with having a winning attitude. So today I'm going to describe what a winning attitude entails, and I'm going to outline 14 steps into developing a winning attitude. So let me get right into it. So what makes someone have a winning attitude? This would refer to someone who knows what they want and what's needed to get to get that, that what they want. Maintaining focus on what you want, even when things don't go as planned. Taking responsibility when you do not get the results you want and changing your approach. Showing optimism and enthusiasm consistently. Learning from your mistakes and doing better next time. And accepting you won't always get what you want, but will gain the lessons you need to become the person you want to be. That's a winning attitude. So what are some steps to develop this winning attitude? So one of them is to think about focusing on your passion. Focus on the things that you love. It's much easier to develop a great attitude when you're doing something you love. Another step is to think positively. Start small, repeat. Think back on your life. Have you ever been successful? If so, recall that moment knowing if it was possible before, it's possible now and moving forward. If you haven't been successful, let's start now. A third step, slow down the speed of your emotions. When you catch yourself thinking negatively, take a deep breath in and out. You need to practice becoming mindful of your racing thoughts and put them into context. Use strategies to make decisions beyond insecure thoughts and feelings. I want you also to consider the environment you build for yourself. One thing that you can do is set your goals high and monitor your progress instead of specific results. Set goals for yourself that are higher than you can ever imagine. Enjoy the journey along the way and pay attention to what you're accomplishing as opposed to the target goal you set for yourself. So basically, I'm asking you to focus more on the process rather than the outcome. Another aspect of having a winning attitude is making sure you can commit. Setting high goals is ridiculous if you can't commit to working toward achieving them. The process involves determining the things in your life you will need to sacrifice to achieve what you want. Another part in having a winning attitude is your behavior. Don't ever give up being true to yourself. Winners quit. They quit the things, the right things at the right times. If it's not your passion, be true to yourself and find something else that is your passion. Another thing, make no excuses. You are accountable for everything you do and everything that happens to you. Accept it, own it. Relationships are also important. When it comes to having a winning attitude, surround yourself with the right people. You're the average, what they say is the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Relationships are meant to empower you and should never victimize you. If any relationship is not helping you become who you want to be, walk away. Another aspect of having a winning attitude is avoiding the wrong people. Negativity breeds negativity, and this is counterproductive for a winning mindset. A healthy mindset gives you a positive outlook. Be grateful. It's impossible to have a bad attitude when you have gratitude. Be grateful for everything you have because there are people who will never have what you have today. And sometimes those are blessings in disguise. At the time, we don't see them. And it's hard to be grateful at the time, but they become lessons learned later on. Another, believe. Whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. So whether you think you will or won't, you're right. I believe in you and you should too. Another, have faith. Pair faith with belief. Call what you want out into existence. Another, prepare for the best, the worst, and everything in between. You'll sleep better at night knowing you have all contingencies covered. The last step, learn. Your life will never get easier, but you will get wiser. So you might as well enjoy get the getting wiser part. I hope you've learned something from this video. And if so, please give it a thumbs up 
and leave me a comment below of what resonated with you. I also have another video I want you to watch. It's called How Bodybuilders and Athletes Can Win Repeatedly. And if you've subscribed to this channel, great. If you haven't, please do subscribe. If you have any suggestions or questions for um, questions about the video, definitely ask me below, post your suggestions below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Take care and remember to keep your mental game on.